really good uh, going back to the Auburn game. And, um, and when you turn it over, uh, you're, you're in real trouble, which we were tonight, and that certainly skews your defensive field goal percentage. But the bottom line is we had been better taking care of the ball. We've been better defensively. And tonight we definitely took a step back, and they took advantage of it. And uh, when you're not getting that defensive connectivity, you're not getting the movement that you have to have on offense either. And we didn't have that. We had it early. We didn't have it enough. We tried a lot of different things, um, zone and man. And um, we just did not cut hard enough. We said one of the big point of emphasis tonight was going to be screening. Whether it was man or zone, we didn't do a good enough job with our screening by any stretch. But we just were, we, we made mistakes defensively that we haven't been making, leaving shooters, gambling, um, trying to make plays that weren't there. And that connectivity started with the communication. And it just wasn't there. And when it's not there, we're not, we're certainly not good enough. Our margin for error is certainly not there to be able to overcome it if, if we're not locked in uh, to where we've got to be on the defensive end. And I think more than anything, that's what, what hurt us. Questions? Tom Anthony said he even sensed in warm-ups that guys were lethargic, including himself. He didn't feel focus was there. Did you pick up on that at all? Well, I think, no, not as much, but I mean, that's good. If he pointed the finger and, and he also pointed himself, then that's a good sign of leadership because um, I think that the, the way it's set up, you know, with senior days, it, 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 that changes things, right? But no, I think, um, you know, it's emotional I, for, for senior night, so that's going to play into it. Tyree, Jordan, those guys are a little emotional with it, but... Uh, We've had really good practices, um, and um, I don't know. We got off to a good start. We just didn't stay with it as much. But um, <clears throat> maybe it's just a fact of the matter is, I mean, if he said it, he's probably right. But the bottom line is it was a different warm-up because of the time being spent out on the court, and that's a tough deal. Yeah, I've never had senior night in my life I've been being in this league till after the game. But, I mean, it's a league rule, so that's when we do it. But, uh, for 18 years, we did it after the game, you know, for those very reasons. But, but um, we we did whatever we started out with. We didn't stay with, but again, it, it moved over to the defensive end more than anything else. And, and I'm sorry, as a quick follow-up, is it discouraging that at this stage of the season to still be committing this many turnovers? And uh, disappointing, but we're 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 not a consistent team, and we haven't been all year. So inconsistency has been the number one weakness of our team all year, and we've been playing better. But it, it, the, the defense and the, and the, uh, the making the simple passes um, are a big part of that. And there wasn't anybody on our team tonight that was a great ball mover, cutter, let's really operate. But there also wasn't anybody on our team tonight that took the, took the reins uh, defensively like we had been. So in that sense, it's disappointing. But it's part of our immaturity and it's part of our inconsistency. Coach, you almost literally played perfect the uh, first five minutes, seven for seven, and I think you only had a missed free throw in that in, in entire time. What changed after that? It, they seemed to uh, be much more discombobulated after that, and I'm not sure uh, if and when you called a timeout, but uh, was there anything that you saw specifically that they got away from? Well, yeah, we needed we stopped cutting as much as we need to cut, whether it was man or zone, right? In cutting, getting the ball into the middle of the zone, like I said a bit ago, the screening was going to be a huge part tonight. You know, screening man or zone, so we create some help situations and make the next kick. But um, um, we probably, for a little stretch there, started to think about our own offense. Really, then we kept thinking about how much it needed to move. And we, that's the immaturity of this team that comes at times when we get a lead. And uh, we've got to grow through that. That's part of building the program. It's part of getting the culture right the way we have to have it here because that's the maturity part. It's not about the offense. It's, it's about how much you continue to put stops together defensively, how well you rebound the ball. You know, when we were in transition, we were good, right? We were really good. But there were too many times we weren't in transition and then we became stagnant. You know, we, 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 we've got to continue to grow out of waiting for the ball, right? We're a cutting, moving team. Penetration, kick, and, and um, we struggled with that. We struggled with that tonight. So it didn't matter for a bit what we called. We weren't getting enough movement. And, um, um, but again, again, all that being said, it comes down to an aggressiveness on both ends of the court and a connectedness on both ends of the court that starts on the defensive end. Uh, Coach, Anthony talked about their zone and them packing it in and saying it was hard because they weren't 
prepared for it. I'm, I'm guessing that wasn't the first time you'd seen that. That they were or weren't prepared. He said they weren't. Said Our guys. Yeah, Anthony said they weren't. We spent prepared. the majority of the time on the, on, the, on, the, on the zone the last two days because we wanted to move it with screens. And um, we knew that they would go to the 3 2 or to the 1 3 1. But it is packed in from the top. That's why we got to get the cuts and drives off of the slots and, uh, and more movement out of the corners. But again, there wasn't one guy on the team that, would, that I would look to and say, okay, they kept cutting and getting us great movement tonight. But it's a top heavy zone, right? It's a top heavy zone. That's why in a 3 2, that's why screening, okay, and then flashing in behind it, you know, from the wing area uh, or from the wing or corner area is what we need to do. And sometimes that we showed them at halftime with it. There are a couple of cuts that, like, if Nike, if Nike made 50 pound shoes, a couple guys had them on. And I'm not, I'm not going to go anywhere. It's just, we can't play like that. So, again, it, it's flash to the ball, right? Flash to the ball, screen the zone, make the next pass. And um, our immaturity came out in that. And, but, but bottom line is, like I keep saying, if you're getting stops, we're getting runs, we're getting runouts, and we're getting out and we're going. And we weren't getting enough stops. And because we weren't getting those baskets, um, that lack of, that lack of uh, cohesiveness on the defensive end caused. Talk Anybody about else? being a consistent team. Are you surprised to go from 99 points uh, last game to, to 54? No, you don't move without the ball. No, no, not really. No, not, not when you don't move as well and, and when you uh, – uh, the ball's got to move, right? The ball's got to move. Tonight we moved into a little bit it, – it, 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 let's wait for the ball, right, rather than cut and make something happen. But our screening, our screening was atrocious. And uh, our screening and our cutting was atrocious. And, and no, matter what it, no matter what we were in. And uh, there's really no reason for it. But, but we've got to go back and look at the film because we can't play that way. Two more questions? Was that 10 run in the second half when you felt the game started to turn towards I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't have it down in my head that way. Um, I, I never think we're on it, so I don't, I don't think like that. I mean, we just, um, we had our timeouts. We had a way to get back into the game, but we just weren't aggressive. Now, they did drop their head a lot earlier tonight, and, and um, that was all the way across the board. There's, there's not one guy, which I'm disappointed to say, that I look back at and said, okay, they, 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 they're locked into this. All right, they, 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 they have the belief. And that, that's, that's disappointing, and just, that's disappointing at this point. Yeah, but we've got to continue to grow leadership here, and we just have to. Le leadership does not happen um, through a course of a couple of good wins or through the course of adversity. It happens because of those things. It happens over a period of time, and we're just not there yet. Tom, when you, when you recruited Anthony here, it obviously elevated expectations, not just in the big picture, but specifically for this year and potentially a tournament team. As, as the reality of this season sort of settled in, have you viewed this in any way as sort of a, a wasted opportunity? No, I don't look at it like that. I knew we had 10 new players. See, I'm here every day, and I know what we have, and I know what, I know what we're working with in the sense of what we have to build. So and when you have 10 new players, you're not quite sure what it's going to be and, uh, at all. And um, uh, if I look back at this, I think I said this the other day, but if I look back and say, okay, what surprises me about this year right now, it would be uh, our lack of shooting. Right, with as much time as we spent on really being able to knock down shots. But I don't look at anything as a wasted year. I mean, we got guys getting better. We just had a good stretch, you know, over a two week where we were three out of four there and could have easily been four out of four. And we took a step back tonight. But again, it's, it's, it's all year long, it's been when our defense is not where it needs to be or when our cutting and our movement is not where it needs to be offensively. Okay, we can, we can still win if we're not making threes. But we cannot win if we're, if we're not guarding well and if we're not moving well without that ball because we're not big. So all of a sudden, you know, we had 18% offensive rebound rate against Florida the first time, which is the worst of the year. And we get seven offensive boards tonight. All right, we're not, we're not nearly as aggressive and gritty in those situations as we need to be, as we will be moving forward. But it's all part of learning what you have. And so... Um, I don't, but I don't choose to look at it in any type of negative way. I choose to look at it and okay, this is the inconsistency. This we got to continue to work on. This is what we're trying to build. This is where it's got to go. And then you make those decisions as you go along. All right, thank you. Thank you.